Hey, hey guys. So I just found this. What I found this thing. So shout out to Kerry KH on his YouTube channel. You should check him out. He's and I figured out about this program existing. It's called Runway ML. I think. Not quite sure how it works, but basically a bunch of different photos. This isn't free, by the way. But you can put in a bunch of put in a bunch of images, and it will images that are similar, but not quite the same. They they always have to be different. So I thought it'd be fun a fun idea for video to look through all these the images that I got from putting in all twenty six letters of the alphabet and the different uppercase lowercase versions. So I thought that would be a cool idea. Put in all the letters in the English alphabet. Mm. Now we're going to look at the results. They made it so it's all shut together as one image, but I think it's still cool. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's opening up on this tab down here. I'm going to bring it up. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's figure out which ones of these are actually new letters. I'll move my face cam when we get to that part. All right, so this one right here, this one on the top left corner, this, it does look a lot like an A. It looks like if an A and a C had a baby, <laughs> this would be it. This one is a short D, and not the kind most of you are probably thinking about, or at least the dirty-minded ones. Yeah, this is definitely the letter D, the lowercase letter D, but most of it's cut off at the top. This is a scent sign. This is a scent sign that had a that has had like something stabbed into him, and now he's dead. This is probably the most unique one we've had so far. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's just gray. This one is literally just black. Like looking close, like it's supposed to be there. Let's just ignore all these ones that are too dark to see. This one's also definitely the letter D. It's closer to a Q though than I would have than I would like. It's like a combination of the two. This is this one's honestly interesting though. This one right here, this one's cool. This one's cool. Like I could totally see this being a letter. Honestly, not gonna lie, this could be the lowercase version of the letter. This is a no. This is an O. This is an O. There's lots of O's. If that isn't obvious. O O O O'Reilly. <laughs> okay. Hmm, this one's interesting. I swear I've seen it before though. It's like the other version of this. Also, uh, if you're wondering, yeah, the, the the two in the corner that would be blocking are just pitch black. I don't know what most of these, man. This one looks like an alien. Looks like Mike Wazowski, kinda. This could be a letter. This is an O. It looks like a combination, like it's like an upside down R, lowercase, and at the same time it's like a lowercase L. And also a J. This is probably, there are some really good ones in here. Like, some ones that don't just look like someone dropped a bucket of paint and then covered most of it in white out. This is definitely a C. This is like an A and an O at the same time. Yeah, there's some cool ones here. I don't know what that is. I think it could be its own letter. It's another O, but also kind of like an A at the same time. Or like a Q, but instead of the line intersecting part of the O, it's just like next to it. It's O, oh, wow. Oh, they're like very these two are friends. This one's just this one. 
but but slightly different. These two look like Japanese characters. Not gonna not gonna lie, or whatever. Maybe Korean or Chinese or something. I have no idea. You guys, let me know in the comments if any of these actually exist as letters, and I'm just saying that it could be real. <laughs> it's OA again. It's whoa, whoa. That's what it would sound like. Or wow, wow, wow. <laughs> like wow. That, that's just the sound makes. <laughs> huh? This letter. But then the so the software is just like no, that's too similar. Let's like just take off a small part of it and make that the picture. Okay, here's another here's another A. This one has this one has a black eye. Ooh, this one looks like the Mojang logo, but with an apostrophe after. <laughs> it kind of looks like it. I mean I'm not saying it's exact, but it kind of. Wait, these two are the same, aren't they? This one's just slightly more sharp on this edge other than that than that they're the same this one just looks like an H in a dark room swear that looks like something I've seen before let me know in the comments what this is what the heck I swear I've seen that symbol before I I can't even see that it looks kind of like the Mojang logo but at the same time I can't even tell if there's something down here this is an O this is black you don't know? I don't know. In black. <laughs> it's an eye behind a shower curtain. It's just an uppercase I behind a shower curtain. Or, you know, like a lowercase L. <laughs> this is behind a shower curtain. It seriously looks like that. This is a C. This is dark. I can't tell what's in there. It's an O. That looks like a C and a G, but most of the G is missing. Lowercase L slash capital A. Oh, oh, oh. It's an O. I would guess that this one just continues and just when you read, whenever you would use that letter on a piece of paper, it would take up like half of the word <laughs> because it's just so big that most of the physical space taken up by the word would be this. I don't know what it would sound like though. Maybe it would sound, maybe it would just be like, oh, <laughs> it's like it's the O sound but steadily getting quieter as the tail goes on. This one's the same, but in a dark room, and this part's longer. It's another one of these ones. Would these ones, wouldn't they be punctuation marks and not letters? But I trained it on letters. Hmm. This one just looks like a backwards A. <laughs> like somebody took an A and then just flipped it over here. <laughs> another black, another copyright symbol. Same one as up here, but longer. A lot of cool things though, like this one seems completely unique, so a lot more like, looks like a D and a B with an apostrophe. It's kind of cool. I would use that letter. <laughs> o, C, the short B, barely an A, so it's like, oh, 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 oh. It's another one of those, just, it's a line. Nothing else special about it, it's a line. This looks like somebody didn't know how to draw a Y, so they just drew But at the same time, it kind of resembles these ones. Another black, another shower curtain, but this time I don't know what's behind it. This one's literally just a data. It exists. I mean, it wasn't in the data set, so they don't know, but... I don't know what that is. I, I honestly don't know what that is. Like this one, but upside down, is that one. At least. This one's like upside down Q. Is an O. Why, how, why and how did this just end up a white square? Not even like it's too dark for me to tell what, what they generated in there. It's like literally just a white square. Yeah. There's an I slash L. Dark room, I can't tell what's in it. Another C. Another O. Oh, that's like, that's like a rectangular O with a, with a big zit coming off its head. I have no idea. <laughs> it's another OL thing. And yeah, it's another O. It's like this one, but upside down and smaller. I think this one could exist, right? No way it would be one letter, but it could totally exist. Like, I'd like to have this button on the keyboard where you can just put a little thingy that goes in the middle of the line. That, that would be so awesome. Okay, and then this is a C. This appears to be a C as a letter outline to it in the darkness. 
I think it's a C. It's probably a C, knowing the program itself. Is an O. Uh, looks like another C. Looks kind of like an X-ray. And this is an O. This, this may be the neatest O on this paper. But then again, there's this one too. There's plenty of neat ones. This is just like, how much of this can we fill while still keeping it within the boundaries? And they're just like, uh, we could just draw an outline and just leave some of the corner bits out. Also, where did the red come from? I don't think there was any red when I put in the images. I think it was all black and white, a little bit of gray. How did they get red from that? This one, not gonna lie, it reminds me of FNAF's sister location just because of the specific things you can see. Just, for some reason, it just reminds me of the of Valor Gallery. <laughs> I don't know why. All right, then here's another black, a dark room. And yeah, this last one, I don't know what that is. It looks like an upside down cube. It doesn't. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> all right, well, that's really all there is to this image. Now I'm going to show you this video that I made. Come on, what the- okay, there we go. It's just lagging a little bit. It's just a, a flat potato. Um, I think it ended up in asset. Mm. Yeah, here it is. You know, but I think it's pretty cool. So automatically, the programs with cars, I don't know why, but it just started out with cars and then it slowly transitioned to being what I put in. Like it learned, like, cars bad, letters good. Look at that. Ain't that cool? Like all the different cars turn into, they turn into letters. The cars, they turn into letters. Oh, I now realize why some of them were just black, because some of these images are super dark. All right, well that's all I got to show for you show you guys today. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit the little bell next to it once you do it'll let you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, peace out everybody. Good quarantine and happy Halloween.